Hello. The Gospel according to Luke is the only one that offer us the story of the encounter between Jesus and Zacchaeus. Most people remember or know that Zacchaeus was a small man and he was forced to climb into a tree to see Jesus when he came to Jericho. But not that many remembered that he was a tax collector. In fact, he was the chief tax collector, probably for the city of Jericho, which was a large city. And when we know this, when we remember this, we should not make the mistake to compare him to a good civil servant uh, working for the equivalent of the Canadian Revenue Agency. No. That man was collecting money for the Roman occupying force. He was working for a foreign power supported by a foreign army. In short, today we will call them a collaborator, a traitor. And this probably says a lot about how people perceive Zacchaeus. Because if you have seen a movie or read a, a book about the Second World War, you probably understand that collaborators were not liked. Usually it does not end well for them. You know, probably the people that day has this kind of reaction of, okay, you, you can, Zacchaeus, you can force us to pay taxes for those Romans but we're not today we're not gonna let you getting in front of the line no 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 you can stay back and see nothing so climb the tree and it is this despised man that jo that jesus noticed and, and very interestingly jesus invited himself to his place i need to go to your place and rest and and eat and understandably, uh, the people were shocked that Jesus would do some such a thing. And, and probably they think, oh, Jesus do, do not, does not know him, so we will brief you, Jesus. That guy, sleazeball, okay? You don't want to be with him. And what happened next and how we understand it? really depend on the translation of our Bible. And I will not bore you with uh, bibli ancient biblical Greek uh, grammar and syntax, and but just, I would say, most of our Bible today use a future tense when it comes to Zacchaeus' answer. Look, half of my possession, Lord, I will give to the poor. And we understand the story as the story of a change man. It's a story of redemption. A story of someone who's been touched by Jesus. And Jesus finally declared, I seeked out and saved the lost. Meaning, our tax collector. However, many argue that the Greek verb in this passage originally should be understood as a progressive as a progressive present tense and Zacchaeus say I am giving half of my possession to the poor even before that Jesus came to town and then Jesus acknowledged him, acknowledges him as a just man as a son of Abraham and the crowd who judge him and they were not able to see him for who he was truly is are the one that need to be saved from their prejudices interesting and of course most of us prefer the first version the good redemption story because it's less confronting 
because we're not forced to admit that too often we too have judged and still judging too rapidly other human beings on first impression, on stereotypes, on cliches, on all the wrong reasons. And Jesus is the one reminding us over and again, don't judge people based on your first impression, on your perception, on what people, on what society tell you. That's something that people complain about Jesus in the gospel. He hang up with the round crowd. He's surrounded by tax collector, prostitute, lepers. Well, Jesus, among other things, was and still famous for being able to see the true nature of an individual. And that's what we are asked to do, what we are called to do. Moving, I would say, forward, not to be stuck in her prejudice and all the system of she is like that, he is like this. But to be, I would say, courageous enough to go against this, to go, to go against what the people are saying from what the society teach us and reach out. It can be scary sometimes, but for sure we will have the truth and we might be surprised more often than others. Well, it's again, thank you for watching. Thank you for being there. I remain the lectionary man, Stéphane Vermette, and until next time, take care of yourself, and bye-bye.